This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, I explore on two feet the Davy Dogwood Park, Palestine, Texas. Now this is uh, Redbeard. On this adventure, I'm lost in East Texas. I'm uh, I'm here in Palestine, Texas. Uh, I found this park, the Davy Dogwood Park. Um, I'm uh, I've been here working. Um, haven't been able to explore much. I've taken today off. Today is Sunday, uh, November 10th. Taking the day off to explore a little bit, maybe get out and walk a little bit, get some exercise. Uh, not really done much exercise, pretty much just just working. So, uh, yeah, here I am, I'm trying to do a little exploring. Um, it's a beautiful fall day, I got some nice fall colors out here. Uh, beautiful little creek, I've been told, uh, or read, rather, that uh, the dogwood trees in bloom here, there's, like there's bus tours that come through, so it's, uh, it's quite something, I assume. So I'm walking through here, I think there's a trail through here. Um, at best, it's in bad repair, at worst, this isn't a trail, I'm just meandering. <laughs> I have no idea. It looks like a trail, it just has no... Uh, no hard path. Um, I can tell if it had just rained, and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. If it had just rained, and this would not be a trail to take. But uh, it is nice through here. Huh, come up to another sign. The green ash. Some type of uh, arboretum, maybe. Definitely a nice nature hike at least at one point the trail is still kind of visible I'm uh, accustomed to a little more trail on the trail and there's a trail through there I don't know if it shows up on camera it barely shows up uh, in real life look at that tree how many people do you think have climbed up there Back where I started from, I saw that trail there. But there's one off to that side, so it just looped around and came right back here. Sassafras, this is a small tree. I've only seen it as a bush. I found this sign that said monument. Now it came from a monument over there. I don't know if there's a monument back that way. I did read on a review that the signage was not the best here in this park. It doesn't quite look as good as some of the others. But Berlin is sturdy. And as you can tell, I didn't exactly wear hiking boots today. Another picnic area. I got picnic bench like I'm used to, and then all these other little ones made of concrete. There's a couple structures over there. I'll go see if there's some, maybe some trails starting from them or something. So I've located a map, and it's mainly a map of uh, Palestine. Uh, it has the park on there, but it's not a park map. So we're almost on the other side, and that would be nice if it had a park map on the other side. But uh, it's the exact same map on this side. I guess a lot of people need a map of Palestine. So is there a map of this place? I guess the quest continues. Oh, but it looks like another little bridge over there. Gotta check that out. Nice little bridge. Nice little creek underneath it. Some bushes here. And it's nice and stable. Well, as I went left from the bridge, there's this uh, bigger trail. I don't know where it goes, but uh, there's a bigger trail. Maybe it's got more use. But I wanted to head this away. Get a little deeper into it. You might be asking me, what, what are you doing in Palestine, Texas? Lost in East Texas. What is, what is all that? Well, I was sent to sent to Palestine, Texas uh, by my work uh, about six weeks. I was supposed to do about six weeks here of uh, 
of a construction support. So that's, that's what I'm doing here. Um, the first couple weekends, I was able to go home. So I went to, went home to see my wife and kids. Uh, so I was able to see them. That was, uh, that was a good time. It's been about two months since I saw them last. So very welcome to go see them. Um, this weekend though, they needed me on Saturday. So I worked a good nine hours on Saturday. Um, but I wanted to take a day off, rest a little bit. Uh, but I realized as I'm trying to wake up that uh, I need a little exercise. I've basically been sleeping, eating, and sitting at a desk. I mean, I walk around a little bit at the construction site, but I'm, I'm not getting my 10,000 steps in. So I need to I need to up my game a little bit with that. Uh, so that's why I came out here. Um, but then, I mean, here I am, uh, red beard, down his bike. Um, they flew me. I'm about uh, I'm about 800 miles away from my nearest motorcycle. Uh, I have two of them. One of them is in Atlanta. The other one is in Portland, Oregon. Uh, so here I'm in Texas. I have <laughs> nearly a bike. So this is an adventure on two feet. So I'm venturing away on two feet. Um, thought I'd share a little bit of what I'm seeing here. Uh, if you like something like this, uh, put the like down below. Uh, hit subscribe. Um, I plan to have uh, multiple adventures, mostly on motorcycles. I don't know. The box says thank you. It's uh, zip tied to a tree. Uh, maybe there's some kind of guided trail. This is not the peak time. <laughs> this is not the peak time for the park. So the trail came out to uh, to a road. I didn't see where it continued on. It did look like there's a turn there. That's not necessarily the direction I want to go. I want to go this direction for some reason. All right, I've walked around to uh, where I came in. So uh, there it says the uh, main road, pavilion, to pavilion down there. Uh, this sign here says trail and picnic area. So I came in here and uh, went on Dogwood Park Road 1. So that's where that trail came out to. I went that way because that way is the uh, proper way evidently. Now when I was coming in here, I had uh, encountered a car and I thought, well, this is definitely one of those narrow Texas roads because uh, I had to get off the pavement to let them get by. And then I saw this sign as I'm walking around. So uh, this is not the way that they're supposed to go out. So I should not have encountered somebody exiting. Uh, but that's not necessarily the most clear sign. But they do have a couple of do not enter signs, one way signs, what have you. So yeah, the thing I saw online said like five and a half miles of, of road. And uh, since I found the entrance, it's like I drove that far. Um, that must be about right. But there's some beautiful fall colors here in East Texas. Again, I'm in Palestine, Texas. I assume it's pronounced Palestine. Maybe it's pronounced Palestine. I've heard it both ways since I've gotten here. I'm going to keep on walking, but I'm going to head back to the car and get this sweatshirt off. Uh, temperature's coming up and uh, my body's warming up. There's Darwood Park Road 3. I have to assume this is one of the entrances. I saw on the map that there were three entrances into the park. Um, I took one on the south side. I believe this, these two are on the east side. I say two because I think there's another one down there. You can see here is a sign that says Main Road to Pavilion and Picnic Area. So I walked from that direction. Um, I guess that's an entrance and that's an entrance. We'll check this one out over here and maybe I'll just walk the entrances and check out uh, how it is to come in from this side. So it's going to be another entrance. See how narrow the road is. Oh, there's a runner back there. Back here. Picnic area and shortcut to exit. I guess if you uh, enter in, you want to figure out how you want to get out of here, which uh, I guess I have to remember. That's the exit there. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, so I walked that one road. I thought it might be an entrance, but uh, no. Nah. It's just, uh, I guess, a way to cut off this loop, whatever this loop does. 
These are all supposedly one way streets. I've been walking up the opposite way. So I guess I'll continue my journey this way. So I'm walking up this hill, and it's always hard to tell how steep the hill is on video. Walking up this hill going, oh man, I definitely need to walk more. I've gotten very little exercise in, uh, in the last three weeks. So I gotta make these next three weeks uh, better eating and more exercise. Cause uh, I don't wanna be too out of shape when I, when I return home. So I should see my wife and kids for Thanksgiving, which is about three, two and a half, I guess two and a half weeks away. So yeah. A little exercise, a little better eating. Woo, I tell you. It looks like, it looks like the top of this hill has a picnic area. So I'll uh, walk around the flat for a little bit. See, there's a view over there. There's that runner. Oh, there's a view over here. No idea what my altitude is, but uh, it's nice seeing over the trees. It's no, uh, I don't know, North Carolina, but. Uh, it ain't bad. I remember reading some of this. Manly Mountains. That was a picnic area and a scenic view. That's what happens when you do things backwards. Um, so, this really is an adventure with Redbeard. Because uh, I'm letting you see as I uh, as I explore it, uh, you get to see how I uh, how I tackle it. I usually do things backwards. As I'm walking and the sun is out and it's warming up, I'm uh, really wishing I put on shorts. This uh, this fat guy is starting to get warm. All right, the entrance must be near because there's a a regular road down there. We'll let's see how the entrance looks. Like I said, I came in the back way. I usually do everything backwards. I didn't know I was doing it backwards. Uh, it was just the closest point to where I uh, where I was in the hotel. So there is uh, what appears to be uh, the back side of the entrance. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a nice sign if you travel the main road. Davy Dogwood Park. So if you come in the proper way, this is the entrance that you'll see. The rules, which you should always follow. And then uh, a little bit on uh, on what it is. So Davy Dogwood Park is evidently a working forest. I did not know that. So there's all kinds of things going on in, in this working forest. And evidently there's video surveillance which uh, I haven't seen any cameras, but that's probably the point, right? They hide them. And there's just this camera. Parker here, can barely read it. Presented by Dogwood Garden Club, 1972. So now we know how old the sign is. On the other side, uh, it says it's given by M.A. Davies Sr. I think the year is in there, but uh, this is an old ant bed. I, I don't know if that's gonna be a problem to destroy it or not yeah not the best of ideas but uh 1944 now the answer mad and i hope you don't have all over my shoe and in keeping with my backwards theme i'm uh, i'm now headed from the entrance uh to the exit i say though this has got to be about the nicest road i have seen here in east texas it's got this wide shoulder you can bike i'm obviously walking and uh Pavement looks pretty decent. Um, I'll have to figure out what road this is. So this is a this is a quite a nice road here. So not too far away. Uh, here is the exit. Uh, you can tell it's the exit from the "Do Not Enter" sign, and then also there's no there's no signage uh, on the road telling you that it's here. Oh, there's a sign up there telling you what road you're on. I can't read it from here. Little dogwood flowers and uh, wood or whatever it is there. Another sign about being a working forest. Park closed. Sign as well. So, uh, yeah, let's go up the entrance. I will say, if you're on a motorcycle or a car for that matter, 
Uh, don't go the way I'm walking. This is the wrong way to ride. But, uh, fine way to walk. Yeah, if you're walking and you're out of shape like me, this looks like some effort here. Alright. Got to the top, not breathing too hard. Some of you may think I'm being kind of silly, but I used to run marathons. And uh, now I'm the heaviest I've ever been. So I gotta change that. Don't know if I'll necessarily run marathons again, but uh, I just need to get back to running. Alright, I have uh, made it back to the main part of the park. You can see that is the exit there. Um, I did find a map online, I'll, I'll share it here in the video. Um, I think I'm going to take the shorter route, I have no idea how long it goes, I'll look at the map. Um, but the main reason I'm here is for my steps. I have, you can't see that, I have uh, 7,500 steps right now. And I need uh, a few more. I go with the police. Need a few more steps, but um, might be a long way to go. I'll check the map and get back with you. I think I'll go back to Manly Mountain, uh, which is this way. It should give me it should give me enough steps. I need uh, what 2,500 more, uh, so I should be able to get that going this way. I think. If not, I just keep going. No big deal. Uh, suppose if I went that way, I could go around and there's a footpath, um, but. My ability to recognize the footpaths are pretty low here, so I'll stick to this road like most everybody's doing and uh, see Manly Mountain again. As I looked at the map a little more, it looks like uh, those aren't footpaths, so there's no trail map that I've found yet. Those are the little alternate uh, roads that go through. So you have the main loop around, uh, the buses go on for the dogwoods uh, viewing. And then you have uh, some other little routes to go on, like over by the picnic area and what have you. So, it might have been shorter to go that way, uh, but I'll go this way. Check out that mountain view again. All right, all right, all right. I looked at the map again, and the uh, mountain view is there near the uh, entrance. So, uh, I'm not walking back there. I'll just walk back to the vehicle and make sure I get my steps in and then, then head out. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm here for my 10,000 steps and I see something. Uh, it is nice here with the fall color. But again, thank you for watching. And this is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road. Hike and bike trail number one. Huh, maybe there's a map over there. Dogwood Park Road 1, so I'm back here uh, where I started. But I did not see that sign. 600 feet this way. Let's check it out. So here's the trailhead. Yeah, that's what I don't know. Is uh, there's a trailhead behind that gate? Exit. Oh, huh. So I guess you can go that way to exit. That must be the trail. All right, let's check it out a little bit. I still got some steps to do. Yeah, I'd say it's a mountain bike trail, not a, uh, <laughs> not a street bike trail. And of course, my problem is uh, I got no idea where this can go. He just says, here's a trail, off you go. Time now. Walk in with 8,800 steps in. So just another 200 to go. And where does the route go? I don't know where they go. It's an adventure. And the trail keeps going, but uh, there's a road and there's some people walking down there. And they're gonna head back. Oh, now I did the exit on the entrances there. My sign was pointing this way for exit, so evidently you can. Loop back this way and exit here. Almost would make more sense for this to be the entrance since everybody parks over there. Anyway, I'm hoping this video will help people who uh, may be interested in coming out here to either hike in or 
riding their mountain bike or just enjoying the scenery. There didn't, there didn't appear to be much information on the on the web. I did find one site that's got some stuff, but uh, my initial search didn't turn up all that much. So here is a video on Davy Dogwood Park, Palestine, Texas. Mission accomplished. Got my 10,000 steps in.